and Jen would pop on. We're always chatting about gardening and stuff. And we just thought we'd pop on a casual, no planning, no loads of pictures, no loads of guests, just me and Gemma having a little chat about gardening. How are you, Jen? I'm good. I've got my cup of tea. The sun is shining. We've actually got blue skies. I don't know if you've got blue skies in Wales, but we've got blue skies in London. Are we um are we actually gone live? Because I can't see on I can't see whether or not I'm actually gone live. Um hmm, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. So you're not is there a delay? I can't no, there's no, I don't think we're live. Yeah. Hmm. What's going on? Are we live? Oh no, there we are. There we are. Oh, are right. we live? <laughs> we're now on. We're now live. It's not live on my end. Yeah. You're here. Oh, yeah, now we are. Let's see, this is the thing. We're not prepared. We're not we're prepared. Live. We're live, we're not live. We don't know. We're live. Okay. We're live. <laughs> so and yeah, how are you, Jem, anyway? I'm fine. What are you up to today? What's your plan today? Plan today. So Obviously, have a nice little chat with you. We've got lovely blue sky. I'm going to drop off some bits and pieces at the plot um, after we've had this conversation because I've got a whole week this week where I can spend time at the allotment. So mm -hmm. it's been half term. So we've been to Cornwall for a couple of days. Well, for nearly a week we were in Cornwall and just been doing things with the kids haven't had actually much time to spend at the plot so yeah. dropping some stuff off today so that tomorrow i can just drop the kids off on the school run and go straight to the plot and just spend the day i think that's the thing i think people do seem to stress don't they and the problem is now at the moment is that do you pick sewing and growing or do you miss out on the spring getaways you know and i think that was like that was your issue, wasn't it? When at the start you thought I got loads to sew, but I still haven't. I'm still packing, ready to go away in a couple of days' time. So that was your little problem that you had, didn't you? And we got through it, though, didn't we, Jen? We, we got through it, and you should sit in my my greenhouse is like full, and everything's really come on. Yeah. Um, so I'm so glad you said to do that because I it is you know especially when you're going away for like a, a, a long amount of time, you're thinking I'm going to get behind. But actually, yeah. you don't if you prepare for it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think it was. I just said like, well, what do you normally do after you sew it? You have to wait. So yeah. by the time I, you literally didn't know you sewed those just as you were going. You know, you were getting ready to go. So yeah. I think if you give it a good water in the house and then just go on your week holiday or a few days trip, by the time you come back, you should see some life there as well. So. You know, I would do that as well if I was going away for a couple of days. I'd just give the sew-ins. And you haven't got to be waiting then. You haven't got to be looking, keep looking at your plants. You come yeah. back and there's something that you've got already germinated. So let's have a quick look at the chat and see who's coming in. Uh, um, hi, Upbeat Allotment. Hi, Nicola. Hi, Pl hi Nanu. Nice to see you on. Hi, Cheryl. Nice to see you on. Cheryl's Cheryl, that's nice for you to come on. Um, hi, Jenny. Hi, Jersey. See, hi, Dave. Hi, Jamie's Allotment. Hi, mate. Nice to see you on. It's nice to see a few people on today. I know it's a Sunday and I know that this was impromptu. Like we just, this is classic me and Gemma. We just like, should we just, we chat all the time. And I just thought if this will be something that probably will happen through spring every now and again, I'll have like one YouTuber on and we'll just have a general chat. And I think this is more of a, um, it'll be more intimate where we can just have a chat to some regular viewers and stuff. Yeah. Cause obviously it'll be quite impromptu and whoever wants to pop on then they can and we can just have a little chat so i can see there's quite a few people you know in there watching so that's nice to see that um they've come out to join us today i know it's a lovely day hi tracy dowell nice to see you on as well um yeah we just decided cheryl just to come on and hi wendy um, welsh garden journey nice to see you on as well i think it's just nice to sometimes just to not put that pressure on like the the big lives that I normally do through autumn and winter. And just through spring and summer, we'll just have a casual little phone call sometimes where me and you have just, or me and you and someone else, maybe Jay, and maybe I'll get Jane on and other YouTubers just for half an hour or so, just to have a little chat and just to, just to talk about the things that stress us out at the moment. And mine was thinking like you, um, are we let you know? Am I am I behind on things and? have I sewn enough of things? And I think that's just that stress anxiety we get. Hi, Joe's Patch. Nice to see you on. It's nice to see a few people on here, Jim. That... Yeah, so Nicola, you said you should have visited when in Cornwall. I was in Lou. 
Really nice. Place. Really nice. My friend's got a place down low. That's so gorgeous. <coughs> Love I've never been there before. So I've been to Newquay and like the yeah. um, that side, but I've never been to like that side. She always um, offers me to stay as well. Always offers me to because it's a their holiday place, and they always say, and I, I've I've always been to I, I, I forever try and avoid going on holiday through spring and summer, and it's silly because I just I just don't like staying from the garden too long, and I try to do my you know my holidays in autumn and winter, but I haven't for a few for you a few years really but i am considering a cruise this year i'm thinking about going on a cruise i know in what cruise, in, what cruise? Where, where would you go on a cruise what sort of cruise? well my auntie's already booked on and and i'm quite close to my auntie and my cousins and stuff so they're all going anyway and they did ask me before and i was like no no it's it's you know it's in between the summer time so it won't disturb a video if i do go it'll be for a week and i'll still put a video out i'll pre-record a video but yeah, um, I do, I think it's going all around um, Spain and around the. So my issue is like the, you know, if there's bad waves and stuff because I see some of those bad videos. But I am tempted to go on holiday in summer, which I said I'd never do because I do think sometimes the allotment or the garden can tie us too much, and it is just a garden as well. At the end of the day, you should have, you know, a healthy life as well. And yeah, there's quite a few coming on now. Hi Jenny. Hi. Oh, Nicola says you can come autumn, winter, Danny. There you are. That's perfect for me. Um, I've had to re so Cheryl. Let's see if the chat thing's still working out. Because remember the last live chat I had, I couldn't put um things up on the screen. So let's have a look. Oh, we can now. I've had to just re sow my tomatoes. Did them mid Feb and way too tall, and weekend the lights at home. Yeah. Well, I did the same. I actually sowed some a couple of days ago, and some of them have started germinating now, and some of them are a little bit leggy. But look at these. Quite, these are ones that I sowed only a few weeks ago, but they're looking all right. These are my tomatoes. They look really these, good. These are called Ozark Sunrise. Oh, Gemma, if you do want some tomatoes, I know you've probably sowed some, but I'll have... So I don't know if anyone knows. So Gemma's coming to visit next week as well, isn't you, Jen? Yeah, next Sunday. I'm making the yeah. journey to another country. Gemma, I might... Uh, this is a pepper plant, so these are looking okay. That mine are looking about the same size as yours, actually. I think we did ours around the same time, actually. Do you want an aubergine plant, Gemma? Because I so I only need one or two, but I've got twelve. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take. I did say I was like I'm not going to sow aubergines because I don't eat enough of them. But if if you've already done it, then yes, I will take mm. one and I'll put it in my poly tunnel. Um, someone. Uh, so Nicola said she's near Red Ruth. Wherever Red that roof. is. Red roof. Is that? I don't know where that is. <laughs> so Joe's Patcher just said, what's all this about? We just decided to come on live. I think this is going to be the, the spring. And this is going to be the cup of tea and, well, cup of coffee for me. And I'm actually um, just about to go over. I'm late doing my roast. So I'm going over now to get a spring cabbage. Everything else is on. I'm going over the plot after this. Going to harvest one of those. You should see the cabbages in the polytunnel. They have worked a treat. They're called April, and we're in April now, so that's why they're called it. They're ready to be harvested. I sowed them in October time and, well, planted them out in October in the polytunnel. I've watered them twice, Gemma. I've neglected them. I've left them in the polytunnel, and they are beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful, so they're ready to be picked. Yeah. Sometimes I think we mother plants too much, yeah. and I think we we think we have to overwater and all these things. And nature will. I'm not saying that you should let it suffer, but yeah. nature sometimes finds its way. And in a poly tunnel, it's we've had a lot of rain, so the tunnel obviously soaks up the water and brings it into the poly tunnel a little bit, especially the side. So I've noticed that's where the cabbages are doing really well. Um, there's quite a few here. Uh, Oh, Gemma just said they film. Uh, Cheryl just said they film Beyond Paradise I in Love. Lewis. Beyond Paradise. I love it. I love Beyond Paradise. Ah, oh. I love so anything like that. Yeah, she goes. Um, but everything is looking after. Go for it, Danny. Get on the cruise. You can find flowers abroad. Well, Cheryl, I was going to ask you and Linda to keep an eye on the allotment anyway, so that would be the plan. I'm actually uh, looking after Cheryl's at the moment as well. So, yeah, it all works out. But. Um, yeah, so Cheryl, if you're about next Sunday, Gemma will be at the plot. We're gonna have cake and coffee as always, and yeah, we'll um we'll 
take Gemma around the site and she can have a little look around and Linda's going to be there as well. So Gemma's excited to meet Linda and you, Gemma. I'm excited to meet Linda. I'm excited to meet everyone. I'm excited to meet you. I've never met you. I know. In it's person. Funny, isn't it? Yeah. I think, Will, people will realise how little you are and how tall <laughs> I am. I think that's what it would be. Uh, oh, you are. Uh, she says, oh, look at you. Hey, Cheryl. She's, I think that's Cheryl, her name is. She's saying, ooh, at least my peppers are twice that size, so you win some, you lose some. <laughs> well, I think these are winners. I think I'm happy with those. Uh, they've not been under lights or nothing. They've just been left on the shelf here. And I had a little bit of light at the start, but it was quite a cheapy light, but I'm happy with them. But, yeah, you win some, you lose some. But I'm happy with them at the moment anyway. I think sometimes you can have them too big and then, You've got no space for them anyway. So sometimes growing them so quick, it's like when people that grow like tomatoes indoors and then they're like huge. And by the time you think, what's what's the point of that? Because you, you're then suffering, they're suffering inside. So grow them at the right time. But yeah, I, you know, if they were a bit bigger, I'd be happy with them as well. But I am all right with them. I have got a, like a, um, I had to re sow my loofah plant as well. But that's, that's just a bit of fun. Who knows what'll happen with that? Kirsty, oh, Kirsty's on, so that's Freddie's mum. Hi, Freddie's mum. So, yeah. Right. Freddie's not on, though. I did text him to tell him that I was going live. I told him <laughs> quite a few people. Oh, he's saying answer. Hang on. Right, I'll come on. Yeah, why not? I tried Freddie. I tried, if Freddie's on, I've tried sending him a link as well, but it, I don't know why it's not gone through. But you had trouble going on as well, didn't you, Jen? I did, yeah. <clears throat> uh... If I've no room left in my house, I don't know how my brain thinks I'll be able to get it all in my greenhouse. Yeah, that's what we all do. <laughs> we all do that. Who said that? Um, Shell's life is better in the garden. If I've no room left in my house, I don't know how my brain thinks I'll be able to get it all in my greenhouse. But you I do, know. You're like, yeah, I just, you know. Well, I was saying to you, and I, I, I got one side of the polyton now, and it's, I would say it's mostly flowers. And I think I haven't pricked them out yet. So where am I pouring all these <laughs> flowers to? Plus all the dahlias I've got to go out and all the bulbs. And I think, I don't know where I'm pouring all. I, I don't even know if I got enough room for vegetables this year. I mean, I'll just end up being flowers. No. You cut flower a lot, man. Yeah. Cut flower plot. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, I did try sending it to... So Freddie couldn't get the link thing either, Gemma. So there must be something going on. I don't know. Technology, innit? Yeah, yeah. Um, Jersey CI Davis said, I'm going to sow more sweet peppers and aubergines. They have sat there doing nothing for... Oh, I know. This can happen as well. They can get stunted, but they sometimes they catch back up as well, but sometimes it could be the compost. I've noticed, and I, I did the same thing again this year, and I never learn. I buy this really rich compost, and they become lazy. They don't tend to you know, root out enough because they're just being fed so well. So I repotted them, added vermiculite and perlite in as well, just to aerate it, and plus all the little bit of moisture, I suppose. But yeah, yeah. Um, I'm hoping now they're going to become a little bit better because some of them are good ones. There are some. Look at this one. You you can have this one, Gemma, if you want. <laughs> this one. It's all sunshine and roses, you, I tell oh, you. Oh, mine looks like that as well. And so oh. Because some of them, I've plant, like they're all in the same sort of thing and they're the same varieties and some have done really well and some haven't. And they're in the yeah. same place. You know, that's why we do more, isn't it, really? Because then yeah, you cause you'll them. always get weak seeds and weak yeah, plants. and exactly. It's always a lottery. Well, Cheryl says, compost. I've heard that this is quite good. Or is it saying this problem? No, Cheryl's saying, I'm getting the Aldi compost. We've had three bags and it was good. Well, I'm going to yeah. Aldi after I go to the allotment. So I'm going to pick up some Aldi compost. Yes. That, I, and it's I've, free. Okay, I'm going to pick some of that up. They've always got loads of it out the front. Yeah, I've seen it as well. I've heard it's really good. And, and I would take Cheryl, Cheryl's judgment any day. She's a fantastic gardener. Yeah. Well, you'll see her plots, honestly. You, you'll be you'll be shocked how much she does she turns she is known for turning an allotment over she said she at one time she was like i'm not sure if i want to take on an allotment now she's had three since that since i've known her oh my goodness. in the last couple of years but you know she's got she's taken on more space and more space but she's backed up to two now because she swapped one small tiny little plot for a bigger plot but bigger you should one. see it honestly is me and linda was having a coffee the other day and we were just in oh how much she gets done 
But Linda said, uh, Cheryl said, yeah, definitely, Danny, I will bring cake to. Oh, you are, Gemma. She's bringing cake for us as well. What's a cake? I just saw my mum on here as well saying, my mum just said, oh, I didn't know you. I, I, I can't find the comment now, but my mum's on here and she said she's coming too. She said, I didn't know this. I'm coming too. I can't find the comment now. Is she allowed to come, Gemma? I don't know. We'll have to make a decision, won't we? Yeah. I <laughs> didn't know that. Here she is, Susan Matthews. Well, Susan, you're welcome if you want. <laughs> But just remember, Susan, Gem is the star of the show, mind. <laughs> I know you. Ah, welcome. Um, oh, it's just I think this is quite nice. I don't feel I don't feel there's no pressure. I just feel like it's just nice to just read the comments. I feel like this idea as well, because this is more like us having a little chat and actually yeah. really interacting with a chat because normally yeah. You know what my lives are like, Gem. The chat goes so fast, it's, don't you it? You can't even look at it and you're looking at it and you're like, it's just literally moving yeah. so fast. And oh, that, I, that I've used the Audi compost too. So we've all this is a good recommendation then. Ah. Um maybe we yeah. should give it a go. I'm oh, Lisa. So you'll probably meet Lisa as well. She's a plot, she's a plot older okay. on my site as well. She's the one that gives me things like dandelion coffee and things like that. Yes. So yeah. I have recently made some dandelion tea. Really? It, yeah, it was actually really nice. It was. I really think I got a feeling Linda texted me last night and said um, that she was having dandelion tea as well. But I've never had dandelion tea. Don't start Lisa off. You know, she's she's into all these little brews and stuff. I think this is really nice, though, because... It is lovely. This is, this is giving me a chance to read the comments. They're not going too fast and giving the viewers a little bit more chance to chat. And um, <clears throat> So Tracy Dowell says, I bought Jack's Magic and that is very good. Now, that went really bad last year, I think, but I'm glad that that's come in a bit better now because I think, but I think we all took the brunt after COVID as well because everyone like overdone their gardens, didn't they? Like everyone. So we, the compost that they had left because they were trying to produce it quicker to send out to us was terrible. But I do think it's getting a bit better. But Freddie, I'm sorry, but if you're free, Freddie, perhaps we can do when... Um... Oh yeah, Freddie, I'm here. Hi, Freddie. Yeah. Freddie, perhaps we can set one up so that you can um, you can come on and me and you will have a little chat now in a couple of days' time as well. But yeah, this is nice to have... Uh... Freddie's all got his pond up and stuff, so... He's doing really well as well. We, uh, Malvin's coming up as well. Uh, Gemma, I, I can't believe you're not coming. No, uh, I can't no. fit it in. I have to just pick and choose what I do. You know, I know it's difficult, but I do. I want to do everything, but actually, it's when you try and do everything. That's four when weeks becomes, away. Wow, that's when it becomes stressful. You know, when you just try yeah. and do too much, and then you're like, I have, you know, I've only got a certain amount of time. And the thing is with Malvin as well, there's so much to see, especially if it's your first time, and and trying to fit in to bump into YouTubers, chat to them for a bit as well, and do all those things. But it's four weeks away, and yeah, Freddie will be there. I think Annie, I, I don't know, if, I'm not sure if Annie's coming, but I know Freddie's coming. I oh, know. Yeah, he said his tickets are booked. I know it's me and Tony are going. I know. Digwell Green Things is going. I know Ken, Nanu's going. I'm really yeah. looking forward to that. I got to bake some Welsh cakes for Nanu. Well, for Grinch mainly because um, it's one of his favourites. So I'm going to do that. Um, Freddie, do you like Welsh cakes as well? I'm, I, 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 I got a feeling Freddie's going to say, I don't like raisins. I'd prefer them with chocolate chips. I could just see him saying it. But um, we'll see now. But um, yeah, I'm. I'm looking forward to Malvin. I and I also know Kerry from Dog and the Plot. She's come. We've bent her ear. She's actually uh she's booked her tickets and she's coming. So yes. It's um but I, I I generally prefer Malvin just to meet the YouTubers and have a little meet and chat to to people who are gardeners as well. It is a little bit funny, Gem, you know, like when you turn up there and you see someone who'd recognize you and they they get a little bit excited that they see you and you you're just there probably like you know eating your bacon roll or something and and they're like ah! and you're like you know <laughs> you get a bit stunned because you don't you still don't think you know you're just a gardener with a camera and I've always said that and I say I remind people all the time nobody on YouTube is any different to anyone else who's got an allotment or garden we just, no, we we just, just film it, it. yeah we, we just, just film it that's what we do we're yeah. just silly that we film it and edit and spend most of our lives editing and sending them to show other people watching gardening but 
Yeah. Uh, I, so yeah, you will love Malvern and che- Chelsea, Jenny. So oh, I, I've I never been to Chelsea. To, I might go to Chelsea this year. Um, mm. I made it. It's not far from me. I used to live really near to it, actually. Um, I've never actually been. Um, but I might do that this year. I'm not sure oh. yet. I don't know. I think that's a bit posh for me, really. Something that Kerry from Dog and the Plot would do just for a, a cash. Okay. <laughs> it's meant to be really good. It is supposed to be mm. really, really fabulous. So um, mm. I don't know. There's, there is a few around here. I know um, like Hampton Court do one and a few other pl- places like near me. So I'll probably try and do something a bit more local. Oh, yeah, I, I get it. I think that'll be something maybe next year, or maybe you can come to the autumn one, Jam. That'd be quite nice for you. Yeah, because I think the problem is where I've got two young children and they have like half terms and Easter breaks mm. and the six weeks holidays, like that that time is where I, I don't get to do anything. Yeah. It's like I'll be up first thing in the morning before Vince goes to work trying to catch up on things. It's a lot more, I have to do things in the time I've got. Um, so I, I just have to be careful with my time. Yeah, and I th- to be honest, the spring one is, if I had to categorise both of them, the spring one is very much like flowers and you can get plug plants and things like that there as well, which is quite handy. You know, if you haven't sown something and you you could pick them up there, that's quite good for the spring one for, for yeah. a lot of months. Not loads, but there's bits and bobs that you could pick up. But if I had to categorise and say, if you had to pick one, then spring is more for gardeners. And autumn is more for allotments because it's all the harvest, all the vegetables, yeah. big giant veg and things like that. And so maybe I'll go to that one because by that point, like all the you know, like the work's done for the year, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Because that's yeah. what I have to think of. Like I've already been to Cornwall. <laughs> We're going to be having a summer holiday, you know. Yeah, I, I, Ma, I Malvin, I've noticed. I've ch- like I don't know. I've been a couple of times now, but. I do think should I wear a fancy shirt or something because you'd see some of them there. There, there is Amia. Oh, Amia's going as well, so Amia's going to love it because Hi. Amia likes these like nice flowery, flamboyant shirts. He'll he will he will stick out, and they'll all love him for it because that's what they do. But I'm wondering if Freddie's going to be wearing his Freddie's allotment T-shirt this year. So I'm wondering if he's going to. But um, Jenny just said it's a nice excuse to dress up, Gemma. Oh, that'd be nice. But yeah, Ma- Malvin, the first year I came, I just like, it was so warm. It was boiling hot. But um, I was just more fascinated how short people were. Freddie said, maybe. Freddie, you've changed now. Look, now your channel's growing. You, you <laughs> don't wear this. I can't, I can't wait to have a photograph with him because I remember when I first had a photograph, he was like under my shoulder. And now he's, he's probably as tall as me now. But Yeah. It'll be a, it'll be a nice day out if it still if it still fits you. Yeah, I was gonna say it probably don't fit you anymore, Freddie. It'd be a it'd be a crop top. But um, yeah, I've, everything now is looking. I'm really pleased with how much I'm doing on the um, fig and olive plot. The grapevine is work in progress, but I know now my ribs are almost back. I don't want to keep. Pu- I don't want to pull the muscles. That's my worry that I got. So I've been to the doctors and stuff. So they said just. You're almost there, but don't push it. So don't push and, it, you could end up back at square one. Yeah, and there's and there's not loads and loads to do down there. It's just literally like I've got like prunings on with a couple of the beds. I've pruned it all back. I've barked it all. I've done some of the beds. I've been planting in. So what I've been doing is because I cannot do too much work. Normally I'd blitz through a plot and get it all done. And um <clears throat> I I've just been doing one bed at a time and I'm going down the plot and it's, I, I'm, I'm making out like it's like plot from hell, you know, and it's not, it's just a normal allotment. It's just, it just needs a bit of little bit of TLC, like a couple yeah. of days, but um, it's looking out. It's looking right. Tracy, how did you do your ribs? Oh, I damaged them in work. So yeah, I work in a hospital with challenging behavior sometimes and these things happen, but yeah, it doesn't matter. It just, it's just, one of these things but it has delayed me a little bit but I'm on the men and to be honest it's given me time to appreciate doing the the littler jobs that I would probably do at home I've been able to take things over and sew in the polytunnel and but it's so warm now Gemini's it was 32 degrees in my polytunnel how are you 
I'm going to take my thermometer down there and yeah. see if it is down there, actually. I was going to ask you if you had a, um, a thermometer in there, because yeah. you'd be shocked. It's always that habit, though, of resetting it before you go in things. But um, I would definitely go in. I, you know what I'm like with gadgets. So I've got one that you can, when you go in, you could turn your phone on, and it records all the data from the last time you go, so it tells you the graph oh, of how... Cool. They're not that dear, though. They're not that dear to buy, Gemma. Um, but they're really clever, so you can check the humidity and the you can humidity. also check. Yeah, that's what, what my little one does. But this clever thing, it just it che- it tells you when the dips and when the frosts are. So it might say, like, 3 a.m. it almost got to frost level. or So it's really clever. Yeah, that's someone just said, I've got the Govi one. So I've been looking at the Govi one, Tracy. So if you um, recommend it, um, I'm looking at, again, a different one because... Um, late again, afternoon, everyone blowing a gale here in the Scotland again. Oh, isn't it always? Scotland's a different world, really. At the moment, it's all right here. It's blue sky, but I think it's going to rain all day tomorrow. I think it's going to rain all day tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah, apparently. I don't know. I... So. But yeah, so um, some, uh, Tracy just said, no, they're very good and quite cheap, but they are handy to have. You just hang it in there. The trick that I find, though, is that a lot of people I see with having these temperature things in their polytunnels, they hang it on a bit of wire on the crop bars. Well, you're going to get a higher reading up there because that's where the heat is going to rise yeah. to. And I always think, don't do that. Put the thermometer where your plant level is. And that's just a good little tip. just Because you want to know what the temperature, the temperature is. Yeah. You want to know where the temperature is, where your plants are. Not in the roof of your polytunnel because it's always hotter there. You know, so... Um, Tracy, if you have got it up higher, bring it down a bit. To, even if you hang the wire a little bit lower down, you know. But, yeah, you should always want to know what the temperature is, where your plants are, not not the, not the general polytunnel. Some I people hang it in the what? middle. I've got a question about my polytunnel, and I'm going to put it out to everyone, and I know you'll probably know what to do because I don't know. But as – I don't know if anyone sure. knows, I've got a grapevine in my polytunnel. So the roots are outside, and it grows up in the middle – and then yeah. I need to put some sort of – it needs to have a, some sort of frame or something to support it. But what what should I do? What sort of frame should I use in there? If it was me? Yeah. I would I would buy some steak. So on my latest video, i seen these steaks in B&M Bargains. I think they were – for that grapevine, I'd probably gather – six foot ones because you want to you want to get Vince to knock them down a little bit yeah. leave it about say six inches from the tunnel maybe yeah. even eight inches from the actual tunnel because that's going to bush as well yeah. and I'd run wires across tension wires but then perhaps what I would do then is perhaps maybe put some like bubble wrap or something on the one side on the back just in case the tunnel do rub on it I'm sure it won't um I'm sure it'll be fine but I would put two stakes in or three stakes across and I'd have to, if the the grapevine's in the middle of the tunnel, is it? It's in the middle, yeah. Because okay, I'm thinking cool. of it coming up and then, and then splitting and up. Then, yeah, rather Perfect. than trying to do it up and down. I thought I could do two and then that was my yeah, thing. I, I'd say for your polyton, I'd probably put three or four stakes in there. They're, they're only, a, I think those size ones are about, it'd probably be 20 quid for the four. And they're from B&M. They're B and M, but they're round, so that's what you want. You don't want to. You can get the you can get the square ones if you want, but the round ones are less to rub in there, so you don't yeah. want to be rubbing. Them. Okay. And they're from B and M in the garden. Or if you want, when you're here next week, when you pop to B and M and have a look if you want, because they've got them here. It's just literally down the road from my house. I've got a B and M here, but it's like the size of my front room. It's a small. Yeah, one. well, so you could always you raised... could always pop there if you want. We could do a little shop. I'm sure Linda wouldn't mind that either. Oh God, yeah, that'd be amazing. But that's that was because it's one of those things you're like. I don't want to, you know, what do I actually do? I don't want to overthink yeah. it and do some like, because really it just needs something to just support it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want to overdo it. I, I would personally just put tension wires on and just put four stakes in. Um, You could just use two stakes, one on either side, but I would put four in because you don't want to be holding all that pressure because the grapevine does get quite heavy as well. That was my other thing, my other question, because... Um, my plot neighbour has got it on. He hasn't got it in a polytunnel. He's got a grapevine outside. He grows it outside. Yeah. But his is only about that far off the ground. Wow. So well, he leaves it low. He leaves it really low. So he's grown it up and then across. But it is literally like that on. So. so with a grapevine, you can just you can keep going and going. But I, 
he's probably because of the climate as well. He's probably thinking, I'll leave it lower. I'll just have a few bunches of grapes yeah. on the one or two rows and that's it. But with a polytonic, because you do get that heat and you can, yeah. you know, it starts off a little bit earlier. Like my grapevine's probably not even budding yet, but yours will be soon. But yeah. this yeah. year you aren't going to worry so much because no, it'll be next year. Up. Yeah. But the um, so the idea I thought with the four stakes is on the top of the stakes, then you can put four hook eyes again, four eyelets, and then you can run tension wires up to the crop bar, then as well. So you can actually keep going up you and you can go going. over the side of the polytunnel. Yeah. No, that's a good but, idea. But um, I wouldn't go over the top with it because honestly, they turn into a jungle. The more you cut off, the more it keeps coming back. So that it is, it is a little bit of a job sometimes, but once you've got it, you know. You're okay. I'm thinking about on the grapevine next year, after spring. It was supposed to be for this year, but obviously I couldn't couldn't do any digging and things. So I'm thinking about taking mine up because they're okay for crops, but I'm thinking of digging them up because they were always at the plot and moving them to the side of the the fence, the ranch fence on the grapevine plot. Yeah. And um, using the fences for the grapevines rather That's than me using an actual bed. That would be good. So, I've got one in my garden as well that I'm going to grow up my garage. But that one, I don't mind going a bit wild, you know, like I can just grow it up and over and, you know, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But I, yeah, in the polytunnel, I was like, I want it to be a bit more compact yeah. and a bit more, you know, supported. So Cheryl's saying she's on holiday at the moment. And Freddie is saying, lucky you on holiday. I would love one right now. He's just come back from Disneyland. What? This boy, honest to God, he's saying I'd love an holiday. He's just come back from Disney. Yeah. But yeah, I love Tenerys. It's lovely. I think I was shocked Cheryl went mine. I was shocked that when she said she was going all the inspect, I thought that Cheryl's very efficient. She's a very efficient gardener. She's um, labeling, not as efficient, but she sows and sows and she's really excited about growing as well, like me as well. But it's always quite a comical thing with Cheryl because she'll say, You are used lettuce, but it might not be lettuce. And it's, we just get through it. Uh, you're him. Um, Freddie said that was not a holiday. More than that 20 was more than two thousand steps. Oh, I can imagine, honestly. I can absolutely imagine. <laughs> but yeah, this has been quite nice actually, Gemini. Just to come on, have a little mm -hmm. chat. So yeah, it's been nice. My coffee's going cold because we're talking. Oh, yeah, this yeah, there's a few watching as well. I'm quite happy with it. And yeah, I think perhaps I'll I I don't want to constantly get into the live thing all the time but i did enjoy all those lives we did and they were fun when they jammed they are really fun yeah it was fun but, and it got us through the winter didn't it, <laughs> it honestly i couldn't believe i thought i i remember saying i'm going to do a few and then it, i think it turned out to be about 20 odd and at some point I had, and i kept extending it because people kept asking for another one and they were saying oh would we miss it on a thursday but i think it'll come back in probably september or october again but these ones, you know, I, I don't see the point of having all the setup and then we're not using it, you know. But, um, yeah, it's nice just to have a little casual Sunday. I've always thought about doing one, not just on my own. But um, Sonia is saying hello from Barbados. Wow, that, that's a bit of a trek. Yeah, a little bit of a trek. Gemma, are you getting on with your channel before you go? Like, are you still, how are you feeling about it now? Are you still enjoying it? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I mean, it's... Sometimes I think it can be hard to juggle everything, but then yeah. I just don't, I just, I just do it when I can do it and try not to think too much about it because yeah. when I film, that is genuinely when I'm fit, when I'm doing something. So that is a genuine, you know, like I, I can't do any more than what I'm doing. So yeah. I'm enjoying it. I enjoy doing it. I think that's the problem sometimes as, as YouTubers, we put pressure on ourselves to try yeah. and have a, the perfect plot or have as much as we can to show everyone what we're doing and things like that. And I can honestly say if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I probably wouldn't do as much as I'm doing now. I wouldn't always be worrying about certain things or, oh, that's a bit messy. We need to get that done before that. Like I try and show the plot sometimes. I mean, by the shed was just rubbish for ages, but that's just life sometimes. You know, I couldn't, you know, if you're ill, I can be crippling myself, moving things. And it just, I think sometimes as YouTubers, and you do it really well, you're very honest and say, 
I haven't got the time. I, I, I've got a family and I've got children and I, and, and you are always doing something, Gemini. There's always a kid's party or you're doing something. Always. But you do juggle it really well, you know, and you have to. I think the main thing is just don't, don't put any pressure on yourself because yeah. no one else is actually putting pressure on you. It's usually the you doing it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no one and, else. And I always get really sad at the comments when they say, oh, I wish I wish I had a plot like yours or that's, you know, that's so much. That must be so much work and all. And I try and get from that because I that's not the aim of my plot. Isn't My plot isn't to for anyone to think oh they want it because my plot's you know, how different my plot changes all the time if you look at my plot in yeah. uh, it's just ruined to flat to the ground and then I and just like everyone else is kind but if you haven't got time to do it and you've got a really busy life I can juggle mine really well because I only work three long shifts a week so I've got four days where I can jog, juggle my social life and my plot life and things as well. And there's still a lot of time. You know, Jem, you just say to me all the time, I don't know how uh, you say about me, you don't know how I juggle as much things. Because you're like working at you, me, like, da, 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 da. and then you're like, I'm just yeah. down the plot and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, you don't stop. But whatever, or everyone that's got an allotment or grows vegetables or has got a garden, mm. all they want to do is be in the garden. But yeah. they, but it's not, that's not light. That is not real light. No. No. So, that's just part of being a gardener, I think. Yeah. Like yesterday, I, I would love to have a day at there. And I looked outside and I thought yeah. it was a lovely day. Yeah. But I didn't go to the plot because I knew I had a lot of work to do and uni yeah. work and stuff. And I try and juggle it and try and balance it so that I try yeah. and pick those days that's going to rain so I can stay indoors. And and it's hard sometimes. It's hard to juggle having a garden, having an allotment and life because people don't realise how much... like. That sometimes you know you do get those little disheartening comments. Not really. I, I'm quite fortunate, but you know the ones that say, "Oh, you should have done now." You, oh, I wouldn't have done that. I would have put that on there. You just think, well, I understand that, but it's still your garden, so you're going to do what you want. But the issue is that it's tough for us as well. And I'm not trying to make people feel sorry for us, but not only have we got the allotment and all the work to do, we got to do the filming, editing, yeah. stuff like that. Like you were lucky you got Vince to help you out with that stuff. Yeah, with you know, me. we yes. all could do with it. We could all do with a Vince help him with the editing and the digging. And I know he does. Does he want to come next week as well? I'll, I'll tend to the chick uh, children. They can go and we'll go and sort the chickens out. We can look in the pond and stuff. And Vince can put the new posts in. He can do a new foundation for the shed. I think it'd be perfect. That's actually a good idea, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's should, a perfect idea. I should bring him and put him to work. Yeah. And and I'll try and make him talk. Yeah. I'll just keep calling over Vince and see. I almost had him today, though. I thought he was I when I had Vince and I almost thought he was gonna speak. I yeah. Know. But yeah, it is hard. It is hard to juggle everything. But everyone, you know, that is part of being a gardener. All you want to do is be in the garden. Whatever you're doing, you just want to be there. But you know, there's so there's so much else we have to do. We just have mm. to think, like you said, well, like we were just saying, that no one is saying to us, "You've no. got to do this." We're not under no. the legal obligation to be in the garden, so we've just got to remember that. We've just got to remember. Yeah. I'll do it today. I'll do it tomorrow. We haven't, we haven't got those channels that say, I'll never have a channel that, and I know you won't either say, do this and you'll have the best crop ever. And I always think those videos are a little bit misleading because you could have a really amazing crop from doing those tips, but if it's not the right climate or the right soil or mm -hmm. bad weather or anything really, you can you can do step by step. And I remember, like, I did for Digwell Greenfinger's single seed potato last year, or maybe the year before. And I followed every step because I wanted to try it because it was obviously trying to get the most yeah. yield. And I did all the steps perfect, perfect compost, mixed with manure. I did all these things. And then a plot neighbor sp spread some weed killer across. So, and it stunted and it knocked them really back. But I didn't want to obviously eat the tubers then because I was worried what was what had gone into them. But the, you know, I think the pressure sometimes is on to try and have the best. And I I would rather it not people not see that like that. And just think this is because my plot or your plot works for your lifestyle. Our plots are completely different, but our lifestyles are different as well, you know? I think if things changed and were become really, really busy, you'd see things change a little bit. Jenny has said, I've loved filming and struggle with technology. Have you got any tips? Oh, you Gemma's the perfect person to answer this. I think just it is really hard with technology because if you're not used to doing it, it's like, what was the saying I heard the other day? 
I can't remember who said it, but it was like, we worry about all this stuff, but when you actually do it, it's not actually as bad. I can't remember the exact saying, but mm. it is like that, isn't it? Like you do it and you think, God, I was really worried about that. And yeah. actually it wasn't as hard. Like when I first started doing lives, for example, with Danny, I, yeah. couldn't, I couldn't turn the computer on. No. Vince had to turn the computer on and do it all. And what did I, just now, I did have run into a couple of problems and Vince did have to help me, but that wasn't actually, there was an yeah. issue on it. But I can actually do that now. And I think it's easy once, not easy. I don't want to say, oh, it's easy, but. I, I remember when someone in my videos saying the hardest thing to start a YouTube channel is turning that camera on and uploading the first video it's it's you you're worried and there's more fear you like think you know will people watch it will people will it be okay and i assure you the first videos gem they're never okay are they they're never okay but actually that's how you learn and that's part of, it's the same as gardening like you don't just mm. all of a sudden get an allotment and you're able to grow vegetables yeah. you it's all learning and then you do something wrong and you think oh that's what you know, I wouldn't do that again. Or, you know, it's all, we love it. Us gardeners actually love it when things go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I think the best, we love it. Yeah. I think the best thing I read once was off Hugh Richards and someone had, I can't, I think it was a conversation and it basically said something like, oh, your, vid your first videos are completely different than now. And his comment was, I would never remove those videos because it showed growth. And I think that and that resonated with me as well when I remember him saying, like, they show where you started and where you've ended up. If you delete all those videos and just make it look like you've always been a professional, it's unfair on new YouTubers yeah. and people watching your videos as well. Because, you know, my videos at the start and mine are probably not the best now that they can be. But every single video you do and every time you try something new, you you improve. And it's not for everyone, but. For, for us right now is okay you know like we exactly. i enjoy it but it is good yeah. fun. it is good fun at all but yeah but yeah um yeah i i could I, I it's normal for me to do like i the only the only issue i've got is that sometimes i think if i wasn't filming it i'd be focusing on it more and enjoying it a little bit more sometimes sometimes i see it more as a job rather than you know just filming but um yeah, so I think I think that's the thing as well because um you want to make sure you're you're showing everything to the best you know because you want to think oh well I'm doing this I want to <laughs> make sure I sh you know you can actually see what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and yeah you know like you want to explain it and say this is why I'm doing this or this is why I'm putting this here and whatever it is mm -hmm. and yeah if you weren't filming it you would just do it wouldn't you you wouldn't really yeah it's just exactly um late bloomers just said and watch what other people do in their videos at the very least you'll see that everyone likes to film in different ways yeah and that's the best thing the best advice ever is don't try and mimic anyone else or don't try and be be yourself and it, you'll find it easier i don't go on that camera and try to be anyone different than i am because that could be that's 10 times harder if you have to portray yourself as a different person and I, I've said this a few times where someone bumped into me once in a lift in the hospital and um, they said that they basically in a nutshell said like, you're just as smiley as you are on the camera. But imagine they met me and I was like, all right. And I'm just pretending, you're to, pretending be, to be someone. It, it's deceiving also, we, were, we were talking about this earlier about like, um, so Danny loves his gadgets and we know that yeah. he loves his gadgets. And like, if there's a, Something that can make something, you know, do something, he'll be, like, interested in it. But whereas I, if I started using, like, things like that, it wouldn't be, like, authentic because yeah. I just wouldn't use that. But that's not to say, yeah. that's, you know, anything wrong with doing that. But you've got to do what you actually um, would Absolutely. do. Absolutely. Yeah, and that's the thing. is, and, and sometimes you will see people plug a product and you think, you know, are they really going to use that and all? And we were talking about earlier when we yeah. were... I, I never, ever plug a product on my channel thinking this is just for free. You know, I, I, I'll i I'll say no to many. We, we laugh about it sometimes, Gemma, the things that we get offered. But I only ever accept something if I think it benefit me or the viewers. And sometimes they they really do help. And you said about your trolley thing that you were oh, given last trolley. year. Best, you know, that that's helped you so much, having a gem, you know. And 
why shouldn't you have that benefit sometimes yeah. as well of having something? But I'll tell you something that I actually want to show you now as well that I've um, I've got. And um, I've been looking, even though I, I mentioned how much I love container wise and I love um, how sturdy the seeds are. I was I was thinking at one point when I I was pricking out the other day and sewing that sometimes you want to keep things compartmentalized as well. And sometimes I just want to sew a few broccolis or collies and things like that. But I don't want them all in one big tray of 15 or 20 and then I'm mixing them up and stuff. So I was looking at an idea of how I could have something really sturdy, a nice little pot, and it it lasts me a long time, but isn't all stuck together, you know? And I was looking at draw tidies. Now, look at this. This this was like £15, I think, for quite a lot. You get all of these ones and these little ones, and I'm just going to drill holes in them today, and they're really, really tough. So I've got these ones. I think I've got like about... Oh, I don't know, about 16 of these. Freddie will love these. So I've got these like tiny little ones like this. Can you see? And they're about an inch and a half deep. And then I've got these long ones. So I can sew in there. And then also they come with larger ones as well. So you can sew into. So, and you can also, this is not me plugging them because I bought these myself, but you can also um, click them together. So they kind of... Um, they kind of lock into each other. There's like a oh, little bit of color tea. Yeah. So you can have certain things. So I was looking at something where I could have, you know, on my drip trays in the polytunnel, but they're not, the, the, the whole tray isn't dedicated just to one thing. You know what I'm like? I like a little gadget and I like a little bit of something extra, but there's so many you I had for like 15 pounds. That's really good. If anyone wants me to put a link to this, I can pop a link and stuff. Also, just to let you all know before, we um you know we finished a chat jane kelly's going live as well this evening um so i've just popped the link in there as well for jane's um jane's live i'll just check what so it's at seven o'clock tonight so i'll be there as well um listening and stuff is to her and mike so that'd be nice as well so i've popped the link for jane's live so if jane is listening i know she's at the plot at the moment so she might not be um she might well, might not be on but yeah, so Jane's going to live later on. But yeah, I thought these would be a little perfect. Look at these tiny little pots. I can just pop a few in there of one little seed. Good. And that's what I've done again this week. I was going to put it on a video, but I might still do because people might not watch this live. But yeah, all of these as well for, for £15. And they'll last a lifetime. I mean, that's quite a lot, isn't it? They look like they're really tough as well. Like they're tough. They're really tough. Yeah. Plus I, I no doubt Fred Freddie will be asking for those anyway. So. Um, yeah, I was really pleased when they turned up when I thought they're exactly what I wanted. And yeah, I, but this is the thing. I like trying new things. And I, it's not that I always want to be spending, 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 but I like things to last. So I, I didn't have no tiny little seed trays and stuff. And you don't have to buy them like this, you know, just one little thing. And you can click them all together, I suppose. But And the good thing is, as well, is I might not um, drill holes in these ones. I might leave the long ones, like like not um and then when you put them into inside this little tray there's actually a little reservoir underneath it doesn't go all the way down so you can water them into here and then you can still have your little seed trays that is really good tray. actually that is really yeah. oh jane's just come on hi jane oh yeah jane come on no no she's i plugged her channel she's hid in the background for the last 20 minutes <laughs> hiya jane nice to see you on how are you, pet? <laughs> but yeah, that's my little hack for this week anyway. That'd be something that you could do, Gemma, on your channel, perhaps like hack of the week. You do question of the week. Maybe you do hack of the week or something because you do like to make a men do and things like that. And I do. I do. I, I like to use what I've got. That is like something that makes me happy. I just, I feel like if I find something that I, could, I can use that for something else, I feel like yeah. that's my Jane says, have you, about the live. Um, yes, Jane, I've just plugged your live. I've popped it up on the screen, and here it is again. So um, it's in the comments of anyone. I'll put it in the description as well. So Jane said she's in the chicken coop. Well, that's lovely. Right, Gemma, should we wrap up? Because I know you want to head down the plot and stuff. Yeah, like we're going to head down there now. <laughs> no, All right. not. No, I know. All right. Well, thanks so much for coming on, Jem. I'm sure we'll do this again. Um, I'll see you all on Jane's live tonight. Her and Mike. 
So um, she's probably got me to work, so perhaps she'll let me be a moderator tonight. You know, you never know with that woman. She cracks the whip. But uh, yeah, so um, we'll see you all tonight as well on Jane's Live at 7 o'clock, and it should be a fun one. Um, Mom, thanks so much for coming on, Jim. Thank you so much, everyone who's come on to watch and all the co um, comments and all. Hope you enjoyed this. Leave a comment afterwards as well in the video as well to let us know if you like this type of style. And pop in as well if you want me to ask a certain YouTuber that you'd like to have me to have a chat with as well, because I can always do that. I can nag them and get them on as well. So if you'd like me to, you know, have a YouTuber on, pop it in the comments, you know, after this video, and we'll see what we can do. Right, ta everyone. See you all tonight at Jane's Live.